Hi, it's Friday night and I'm making wings. And check out this apron for Valentine's month. Isn't it the cutest? Gotta love the cook, right? That's what I say. Anyway, like I said, I'm making wings tonight, which I've made before. I've made the buffalo, I've made the mole wings with pepitas. And I'm gonna do something different tonight. I'm gonna try this noble made garlic parmesan and it is a wing sauce but i'm sure you could use it for a lot of different things but i'm going to go with it and see how it goes i'm doing kind of an italian style wing tonight and why not so i have an easy way of doing this because it can be kind of a messy process so i don't like cleaning so what i've done on my cutting board is just basically taken a grocery bag and, and just cut it up and put it down here so that all i have to do later is just throw this away and i don't have to deal with such a mess because I have three pounds of wings here. What we need to do is make sure they're absolutely dry before we bake them because we want them crispy before we dip them in that Parmesan sauce. That's the trick to having them be delicious. Now, by the way, you can air fry these. You could do, um, you can cook them in a crock pot if you want, but I really like them baked and it's super easy. And see what I'm doing is just kind of blotting off any excess moisture and the bag itself is kind of helping to get rid of that. So you want to make sure they're dry before we start. So simple, done. And we're going to toss them in some seasonings. Now, you know, for the oven arrow wings, for the mole ones, I had a lot of spicy stuff. What I did was I still used some buffalo seasoning and I put a little bit of oregano and I have two tablespoons of baking powder in here baking powder, not the soda. And that's going to be what we're just going to coat these wings in. I'm just going to shake this just to get it mixed up a little bit. And these wings are going to go straight in this bowl to be tossed in with the seasoning. So it's super simple. You're going to see that I'm just dumping them all in and I can just throw this away. Okay. So I don't have to clean the cutting board. I don't have to mess with the counter, especially with poultry, which you don't really want to have lingering and I'm just using a pair of tongs to simply get the seasoning coating the chicken that's all we're doing is just making sure and really just keep stirring until you don't have any loose seasoning and baking powder at the bottom and you'll know if you're making up your own seasoning blend be sure to use salt garlic and then from there you can season as you like I used a buffalo seasoning that already had salt and garlic. So I added the touch of oregano just because these are gonna be like an Italian style wing. And don't forget the baking powder. That's gonna help it get that slight crispness on the outside. And you do want them crispy, okay? So you can see what these are gonna look like. Very simple to get started. And I've already prepared a baking pan. By the way, my oven is preheating to 425. So uh, that's the temperature we wanna cook these at. What I've done is covered this sheet pan with heavy foil, cause again, I don't wanna clean up, especially Friday night. And I've used a little baking rack, actually two, because we want to try and keep the wings lifted off the baking sheet so that um, they can really crisp up. That's going to be the key. So I think this is, Pretty simple step. We're going to lay these out on the baking sheet, doing our very best to give space in between them because that's going to help these really crisp up. If you have a lot of them, you may need to bake them in two sheets or two batches because if, if you have them all touching, it, it's going to create more of a steaming effect and we want them to be crispy. So uh, avoid overcrowding pretty much at all costs here. So I'm just laying these out. In fact, honestly, you can just dump them onto the pan and spread them out. And that's gonna be a little faster. But the main thing is you would never wanna cook them where they're all just heaped in a pile. I mean, they will cook, don't get me wrong, but you'll miss that crispiness that makes chicken wings so nice. Because remember, once we toss them in this, the sauce, that adds a little bit of moisture anyway, which is, you know, delicious. And the other way is to just keep them script, uh, crispy and use the sauce as a dipping, but I do like them kind of tossed in the sauce at the last minute. All right, 
So I already knew that this pan holds my three pounds and that's why I always make this amount. So if I wanted to feed more people than what this will do, I would just do a second pan rather than try to squeeze any more on here. So you see how there's pretty much space in between each one. Very few are touching. That's what we're looking for. And my oven isn't quite heated up yet. So when it is, I'm gonna put these in. Total cooking time is gonna take 45 minutes to an hour. They do take a while, but I'm gonna check on them about after 25 minutes and I'm gonna turn them over so that they're cooking evenly on all sides. And once we hit 45 minutes, I'm gonna be checking to see if they need a little bit more time. So I'll show you when they come out of the oven cooked and we'll toss them in the sauce and see how it can. Okay, my wings are ready. Oh, you wanna see them? They should be done. They've been in the oven for about an hour because I really want to crisp them up. And I started cooking them, they were cold. So that makes a difference in the cooking time. But can you see that, how nice they look? They're crispy, they're done on all sides. So at this point, hey, all I did with this bowl with the seasoning was just barely rinse it out. Uh, I didn't have to really clean it because I was gonna use it again in order to add the sauce. So all I have to do is get all these wings over here into this bowl and we're gonna sauce them up and it'll be time to eat. By the way, I made a slaw in the meantime. Um, in keeping with the Italian theme, I went with a Tuscan olive oil. I used the juice of a whole lemon, a touch of honey, not too much, some fennel salt, oregano, and just some general herb seasoning, salt and pepper. That's all it took. And it actually is a pretty good slaw. I wanted something simple because these wings are gonna be full of flavor. So I've got them here in the bowl. It's like the easiest part of the whole meal. So this is a new sauce I've never used, but it is gluten-free and sugar-free and really got good ingredients in it. And I thought Parmesan garlic sounds really good. So see what I'm doing here? Tongs are handy. And you know, it just depends on how soppy you like your wings. Me, I like to get them coated, but then have some sauce on the side usually, if you wanna dip a little extra. So for me, that's good enough. Maybe a little more. Okay, let's, it does add more flavor. But remember, I did season these wings before I cooked them. So there's gonna be flavor inside and out. All right, that should do it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little Parmesan before I serve these and it's dinner.